What's up y'all, this is Travis, also known as The Raw View, and today we are looking at a gaming chair from a company called Spiltech. <laughs> So this is the Spiltech Bandit XL V2. So the build quality of this chair is really, really good. It's pretty much on par with other $350 chairs that you'll see. I love the carbon fiber that's on the back of it. This chair can support up to 330 pounds. Now the wheels on this chair are very large, perfect for people who have carpet. This chair will be perfect gliding over the carpet with ease. I love the way the chair looks, except for the gaming logo on the chair. I don't understand why it's a controller. I wish it was a keyboard, but that's just my personal opinion. Armrests go forward, backwards, left, right, up and down. There's a tension knob on the bottom that lets you adjust the amount of pressure or weight that it takes to lean the chair back and forward. On one side, you have a lever that allows you to adjust the height of the chair up and down. On the other side, you have a lever that allows you to lock the butt position angle of the chair, if that makes sense, to give you that zero gravity feel. Now, I have a couple chairs with this feature and this is like a huge deal for me personally uh, in a chair like th this is what you buy and are spending like 300 bucks for is this feature this feature is so important because it really just relieves a lot of pressure off your back i wouldn't have a chair without this feature so it's really cool that they have it. This chair is a wider chair. Great for, I feel like, bigger people who are a light, little bit wider than me. I am 6'1", this chair is perfect. I personally, I do take off the armrest on all my chairs. Uh, this chair is no exception to that. So personally, I just like it with the armrest off, but it does come with really nice armrest. It also comes with a lumbar and a head pillow. The lumbar pillow feels great, but you can open it up and replace it with your own stuffing. Same thing with the head pillow. You can take this out, you can cut it open, and you can take out some of the stuffing if you so desire. I highly suggest taking out stuffing. I think most gaming pillows uh, for chairs come over stuff, and I think that's intentional so you can adjust it yourself. That's something I do with all my chairs. There's also a lever here on the side that also allows you to adjust the tilt of the back of the chair, which pretty much goes all the way down. So who's this chair for? Who's this chair not for? Now this chair is going to be great for people who are bigger, uh, people who are tall, like 6'1-ish and higher. Um, I'm 6'1", and this chair kind of fits me perfectly. And I, that's who I think this chair is geared toward. It's going to be people who weigh up to 300 pounds, I think will find this chair comfortable and people who are tall. Now, personally, I like my chairs bigger than what I actually am. I, I like having this extra room. So if that's something you think you would like, then you might actually end up liking this chair if you're, say, a smaller person, like five foot or five five. Now, the only thing you have to worry about there is do your legs touch the ground with this chair? Um, so that's kind of where you kind of have to weigh that. I would maybe look towards something else if you're a smaller person and not this chair. But overall, I like this chair. I would highly suggest it. It's probably in the top three. I would say in the top three chairs, I would suggest to people just depending on their body type. Now, overall, great construction, great look, just a great feeling chair. So that's it for this chair review. Make sure to stay tuned, sub to the channel because I will have another chair review coming out very, very soon. Peace.